Well, hi, everybody. I'm Steve Ames, and I've authored a book very recently, and very fortunate to have it go to number one. It's called Only Broken Seeds Grow. And I'm with a very special guest, and his name is... Marlon Mormon, attorney. Yes, and we've known each other quite a few years now. Uh, Marlon has read my book. Um, you wrote an advanced praise for me, I believe. And I said, Marlon, be uh, on one of my videos, answer a couple of simple questions. And um, he said, I had to twist his arm a little bit, but he said he would do it. <laughs> and so um, I've go, I'm going around the country. I've got uh, so 50 to 100 people that have read my book. And I don't know if I can get to, um, to all those people, but I'm having a good time doing this. And I'll quit talking. I'm going to talk for almost a minute and uh, go around the country interviewing people that have read it. I want you to get it. Uh, it doesn't cost that much, and I think you will learn a lot from it. And he happens to have it with him. So there you are, Only Broken Seeds Grow. And Marlon, just uh, give us a simple comment. You read the book. What's your overall impression of it? I think I read the book several times. <laughs> and, and you heard me explain it several times, yes, too. Yes, and I've heard it on, on our, <laughs> our various trips. You know, the book really tells us a lot about life. And one thing that I think people need to learn from that is disabilities do not equate to stupidity. It's just the opposite. Often people with a disability are extraordinarily smart, extraordinarily talent, talented. They just need to unlock that talent. But you have such a low self-esteem when these disabilities beat you down, especially like Steve mm. when he was a child, having multiple disabilities. And in my practice, and when I was a judge, there's one thing people hide better than anything else, and that's the inability to read and write. They will hide it. But they should endorse these disabilities, figure out a way to take advantage of them. When you're given lemons, make lemonade. That's what this book really tells a person. You, you, just because you have all these roadblocks to life and you're disabled and you've been knocked down so many times, it doesn't mean you can't win. I mean, that's what the book is about. A broken seed, we're all broken seeds. Everybody can win. Everybody has problems. You overcome them. And reading this book, I think, is one thing that really told me you know, I didn't have it so bad. I had problems, but you just think a lot more when you go through this book chapter by chapter. And it's a nice book because you don't have this big plot and storyline and a whole bunch of names to remember. Little short stories teaching you st uh, little lessons on life, but they're big lessons. The big lesson is broken seeds, they can grow, mature, and become better than anything you could ever imagine. So don't let the disabilities get you down. When given lemons, make lemonade. Yep, and I would agree with that wholeheartedly. It's a book about overcoming, and one person told me a couple of weeks ago, he said, uh, you know, I saw it as a, as a road map uh, to, to discover myself, to rediscover myself. And I said, well, I haven't, hadn't heard that before. And uh, he said, it really has uh, made me see who I am and, and see into the future. And I said, well, that, I thought to myself, well, that's a, that's a bit uh, unusual, but uh, it's one person's opinion. But anyway, uh, Marlon, you, uh, I want to thank you for your comments today. Uh, we've got about a minute left. Is there any, anything else that you might want to contribute? No, I, you know, it's, it's a book you can pick up, read a couple of chapters, lay it down for a couple of weeks, pick it up and read a few more. It'd be a nice book for road trips. You know, when you're going with somebody, have them read a chapter here and there on the way out and the way back. Uh, I, you know, it isn't, isn't that expensive? And it's a nice read. And uh, only three, three or four, uh, or one to three to four pages long. The, long. the longest story is maybe four pages. And they're 59 very short stories. So like you said, you can read one or two or three or four and lay it down and pick it back up. And, and you, know, you only need to learn one thing and keep one thing for life from this book to really make it worth its time. <laughs> it's not just for entertainment. I think it's a self-help book. So and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you very much. I couldn't have asked for a better person to talk to and, and a better opinion about the book. And we'll see you all the next time. And take good care, everybody. Bye-bye.